Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Engines of North America video. Today, we will be talking about our first American Electric, the Electromotive Division GG1. The GG1 was an American Electric built for the Pennsylvania Railroad beginning in 1934 and was designed by Raymond Lowy. Fifteen GG1s were built by General Electric, the rest would be produced by the PRR's own Juniata Shops in Altoona, Pennsylvania. The GG1 pulled many famous trains, including the Congressional, Broadway Limited, and one even double-headed with Flying Scotsman during its American excursion in the 1970s. As passenger service in America declined, some units were re-geared for freight service. The PRR denoted their 460s as G-type locomotives, so the GG1 consisted of two 460 engines back to back. They had a top speed of 100 miles per hour, had a tractive effort of 123,500 pounds, weighed in at 477,000 pounds, and each unit measured in at 79 feet 6 inches. The GG1 came equipped with a Leslie A200 horn. Since the GG1s are electrics, they got their power via an overhead 11,000 AC volt catenary system. The electricity flowed from the catenary system in a pantographs to a transformer inside the engine all the way to 12 single phase 25 cycle traction motors. Each traction motor developed 285 horsepower, but with 12 within the locomotive, it was able to create a grand total of 4,620 horsepower during continuous operation. While the PRR would be the only railroad to run the GG1 starting in 1935, three additional railroads would run the GG1 later on. When the New York Central and Pennsylvania Railroad merged into Penn Central in 1968, they would continue to run the famous electric until the Penn Central ceased operations on April 1st, 1976. The Consolidated Rail Corporation, or Conrail, formed April 1st, 1976, and would go on to inherit the Penn Central's GG1s. Conrail, number 4800, would be paying up in a patriotic bicentennial scheme in 1976. The following year, it would be painted up in typical Conrail colors. The PRR ran a grand total of 139 GG1s. Penn Central had 68 units on its roster, which would later fold into Conrail. They would be retired in 1980. On Amtrak, they would last in service until being replaced by the AEM-7 the same year. New Jersey Transit last used their GG1s in the fall of 1983. The GG1 had an impressive career that lasted almost 50 years. Not only could they handle passenger trains 12 to 14 coaches long, but the streamlined electrics also outlived the Pennsylvania Railroad, the financial disaster of the Penn Central, and the units wouldn't be officially retired until the 1980s. On the other end, Conrail ended its GG1 fleet and by the late 70s, parts were expensive and hard to find. Cracks and frames were also being discovered. Several GG1s have been preserved throughout the United States. They include PRR Brunswick Green 5-striped GG1 number 4935 at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in Strasburg, PRR Tuscan Red 5-striped GG1 number 4913 at the Railroaders Memorial Museum in Altoona, Pennsylvania, Amtrak Black number 4916 at the National Museum of Transportation in St. Louis in Missouri, and PRR Dark Green Single Stripe GG1 number 4890 at the National Railroad Museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin. With so many units still preserved, the question remains if any will be restored to operational condition. Several reasons exist as to why no GG1s are in operational condition. Some of the old electrical components need replacing. 
Also, the cost to restore one to operation would be a fortune. Fortunately, many, as previously stated, are on static display throughout the United States.